uh, errors and how these uh, methods actually uh, deal with errors. Now, one of the uh, radical features of most communication approaches uh, is toleration of errors produced by students. Uh, traditionally, errors were regarded uh, negatively and they had to be avoided or eradicated, right? Now, uh, if we uh, look at the traditional methods of language teaching, so errors were never encouraged and those were avoided. Student, the learners, they, they were corrected again and again so that errors could be corrected. But if we look at the uh, recent uh, uh, language teaching methods which are based on communication or communication approaches, so their errors are most of the time tolerated and students they uh, like uh, can go on with their uh, their errors uh, and uh, there is always self-correction right uh, and errors are not considered to be something wrong as it is uh, believed that errors are a sign that language uh, development that is taking place right because if you have learned something uh, so there wouldn't be any mistake or error in that but if there is something new learned uh, newly learned so that might have certain errors but the most recent acceptance of such errors in learners use of L, uh, in learners use of l2 is based on a fundamental shift in perspective from the most traditional view of how l2 learning takes place right so as we have just discussed uh, some of the uh, language teaching methods which also entail the views uh, about uh, language learning right so uh, this uh, uh, recent method that is communicative language teaching method uh, which focuses on uh, communication as the basis of uh, uh, language learning now that is uh, uh, imitating language acquisition in nature that uh, it is not a correction that helps us learn language, rather it is, uh, uh, you can say, natural interaction or communication that uh, provides input and uh, uh, learners similar to acquirer will be with the passage of time correcting themselves, right? So uh, this viewpoint that has uh, uh, actually changed this, uh, except uh, change this, uh, uh, response to errors as well right so previously errors were uh, not considered good they were avoided or eradicated but in recent approaches of language teaching they are tolerated and it is uh, believed that uh, the learners would be correcting those errors with the passage of time as it happens in uh, language acquisition and we have discussed uh, different stages of language acquisition and you know what are the shortcomings in different approaches but with the passage of time the acquirer uh, you can say uh, overcomes those uh, um, shortcomings similarly the learners also overcome uh, the shortcomings with the passage of time now an error is not something that hinders a student's progress but is probably a clue to the active learning process being made by the students and they try out way of communicating in their new language so as i have just said that error means that there is progress and there is something new being learned and uh, the students they are also not passive or they are not uh, content with whatever they have learned rather they are trying new ways and new things in the target language and those new ways and new new things are actually uh, basis of some errors which would with the passage of time be which would be corrected by the uh, learner himself 